I'm going to demonstrate how I get my little bubbly, sparkly background that I did on the Foxy Santa. And I'm going to show it to you on a smaller piece so it'll go a little faster. To start with, I base coated the wood with a medium white and I sanded it. Then I put a piece of tape across the very bottom and very top so that I could block off where the scrolls are. I'm going to start with my black gold half inch angle brush and some Traditions by DecoArt Thalo Blue. And I'm going to load that up and I'm going to start by making the entire background this thalo blue color and I'm just slip slapping it on. I don't want it on nice and smooth. I want to be able to see my brush marks. So if you think of the letter X as you're applying it, uh, that's going to make it go faster. Use a hair dryer to blow dry it so that it'll be nice and dry. Now I'm going to start adding a variety of colors in the background and I like to use a little bit of the uh, Traditions extender in my brush so that I have more time to play. So I'm going to add the extender. I'm going to go back and I'm going to pick out a little bit of that thalo blue on the brush so I've got a dirty brush and I'm going to start with a little bit of the uh, aquamarine and there again I'm going to do kind of a slip slap think of the letter X and if I get too bright I come back and just add a little bit more of the Thalo blue on top of it. Okay, now comes the fun part. I'm going to add little circles in different colors and I'm going to use the black gold fountain brushes for that. I'll start out with the largest fountain brush and these brushes are like they've got a little hole in the center of them um, and they, the ends kind of splay out so that um, what I can do is I can actually set this down and create a circle. Now I want to start with very subtle colors so I'm going to use um, the extender in the brush, blot it off, and I'm going to start with some uh, dioxazine purple and I'm going to smash the brush down on my palette. It's like you're wrecking it and I'm going to turn it in a circle pushing all the way down to the ferrule and so that that helps to spread those out. Then I'm going to just start by making circles. I twist the brush and I can create these circles all over my piece. Just kind of random. Now I know I'm going to have a design in the center here so I'm not going to worry too much about that area. If you get too bold you can come back and add some uh, uh, darker color in there too with the uh, thalo. Um, I'm also going to get some quinacridone violet. I'm not even going to clean my brush. I like to use the 
dirty brush for a while and just continue to add dark circles to start with. Just twisting the brush around. And I can also soften these around the edges if I need to. I can take my Jelly Bean Dirty Dancer and it's got a blender on one side. I'll dip it in extender first. So if I, if I want to make the edges a little bit more fuzzy, I'll use that wet, a little bit wet end and just kind of soften those edges. Blend that in so they're not quite so sharp. The background circles I want to be a little bit softer. Now I'm going to add some more colors, but I'm going to switch to the smaller fountain brush. There again, dip it in extender, blot it on my towel, and I'm going to use, uh, let's make some pink. So I'll use the quinacridone and a little bit of white. I don't want to get too bright too fast. So a little more aquadon than white in the brush. Kind of wipe off the excess off the brush. And there again, start by just making circles. Now this time I'm probably not going to press quite so hard, but I'm twisted in a circle. And if the paint is still wet underneath, you're going to pick up some different variations of color, which is nice. You don't want them all exactly the same. Don't be afraid to overlap on top of other circles. Then I'm going to use some aquamarine. Actually, I'm going to start with the aquamarine just by itself first. Let's extend her in the brush, wipe it on the towel, little aquamarine. Kind of dab the extra off on the palette. Wherever I want the most sparkle to be is where I might add a little bit of a, a very wash kind of consistency of white, the titanium white. So I've dipped the brush in extender, pick up a little white. I want it pretty transparent, so I'm kind of wiping most of it off on the palette. And uh, I'm going to be adding a, a Santa hat in the center here, so I want this area here to be my sparkle area. So I'm going to add just a few brighter and I'm going to get a little bit more white on there yet. I was a little I want a little brighter than I had it. Just twisting that brush. And then one more final sparkle I do with a liner brush. And I'm going to use extender instead of water to thin my titanium white paint. 
because I'm going to want to be able to soften or blend this. So I make it a little bit of a soupy consistency and then I decide where I want my little sparkles to be. So if I want, I want a little sparkle maybe right here and I can wait and do this after I've done my design so I can maybe guess a little better where I'm going to have them. I'm making crisscross lines so I started with kind of a, a um, cross and then another X in between each of those. While that's still wet I take the blender side of my Dirty Dancer or any kind of a dry brush blender and I just softly pull those tips out so that they melt into the background and then add a little bit more of a solid dot in the center. One last thing that I'm going to add into the center or throughout the background and I'm only going to do a couple of them until after I get my design on because I want to avoid where the design is going to be. Uh, I'm going to make little metallic gold stars and any, whatever your favorite gold is, this happens to be the 24 karat gold Extra Sheen by DecoArt. And I'm going to use my stylus. And this one has two different sized ends on it. So depending on how large I want my star to be, I'm going to dip it into the thick paint. And I start with a little dot. And then I'm going to pull that wet paint. I'm going to go slightly up, side to side, and then down. So think of a little gingerbread man. You're going to go up for the head, side to side for the arms. Redip if you lose. If you didn't get enough paint, go ahead, redip. Start in the middle again, though, and down for the legs. And then also we'll want to add just some random gold dots with the stylus throughout the background for extra sparkle. So I hope you have fun creating this background on any of your designs. Visit me at jillybean.net.